Thanks for joining us. This is Five Minutes Into The Future. Hello and welcome. I'm Steve Brown and this time we're going to talk about automation. With rapid advances in, our, in technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, sensors, machines are getting more capable all the time. Artificial intelligence allows us to solve business problems that traditional computers found impossible. And that means that machines are starting to take on tasks that could previously only be done by humans. A new generation of smart robots, all powered by artificial intelligence, can do things that until recently only existed in science fiction. And AI will soon power a wide range of autonomous vehicles, everything from delivery robots and drones to self-driving cars and fully autonomous trucks. All this leads us to a really big question. What role should machines play in the workplaces of the future? A recent study of 1,500 companies conducted by Accenture and published in the Harvard Business Review concluded this. Those that deploy AI mainly to displace employees will see only short-term productivity gains. Firms achieve the most significant performance improvements when humans and machines work together. The way forward is a thoughtful combination of both task automation and worker augmentation. This is the new challenge for every leadership team on the planet today. Consider each of your major business processes. Most companies have you know, three to five of them, a sales process, a manufacturing process, and so on. Break each process into individual tasks and go as granular and as detailed as you can. Ask yourself this tough question then. Which of these tasks is best done by a human, which is best done by an AI, and which is best done by a robot? Each of these three has different strengths and weaknesses. For example, robots are great for repetitive physical tasks and for dangerous environments. AIs are better for handling extreme complexity and finding patterns in oceans of data that humans can never find. But humans have still got a lot in their column. We're better for creativity, planning skills, empathy, and so on. We should take heart in that fact. There's still a lot more in our column than for the machines. Leaders must build high-functioning teams of humans and machines working together, which means your CHRO and your CIO just became best friends because they now preside over a joint workforce that spans human resources and intelligent machine resources. Augmented reality is being used to give firefighters super senses so they can see and navigate through smoky environments up to five times more quickly than they could before. Real estate agents use artificial intelligence to predict when their clients might be in the market for a new home, essentially giving them augmented intuition. Workers on the production line use exoskeletons to augment their strength and give them extra endurance. Many of us will experience AI as a personal assistant, a digital PA, that can take on the simpler tasks in our lives and run errands for us, freeing us up to do more. Designers augment their creativity using generative design tools to co-create everything from office layouts to beautiful furniture. Sadly, some people will lose their jobs to automation, and technology has always destroyed jobs in the process of creating really good new ones. And we're gonna to need to support people and help them develop the skills that they need so they can move and participate into these exciting new jobs. Now that is a topic we'll be digging into in more detail in a future episode. Most of us will experience automation in a really positive way in our working lives. Machines will take on the jobs that we really don't want to do and they'll give us the superpowers that allow us to do our jobs even better than before. And that should lead to us being able to have more enjoyable, more challenging, more meaningful and more rewarding work for people. If you're interested in this topic, you can learn more about it in my book, The Innovation Ultimatum, how six strategic technologies will reshape every business in the 2020s. Join us again next time 
when we'll explore these ideas in much more detail and we talk about augmented and hybrid workers. For now, I'm Steve Brown and I'll see you in the future.